Hello everyone, welcome to Power Electronics. In this session, I will be discussing on the principle of operation of a class B chopper. The arrangement for a class B chopper for inductive load is shown in figure 1A here. Here we have used a thyristor as a chopper switch. The chopper switch is operated by closing it for a time T1 and opening the same for a time T2. The sum of the times T1 and T2 can be regarded as the chopper period usually denoted by capital T. In type B or second quadrant chopper, the load must always contain a DC source. In the circuit shown here, E represents the DC source. When the chopper switch is closed, the load gets disconnected from the supply due to the presence of the diode D in series with the supply. Therefore, the output voltage is zero, that is V0 equals zero. However, the DC source at the load E drives the current through inductor L and the chopper. So there is a closed loop here. The inductor L stores the energy during this period. Since the inductor current direction is opposite to the load current direction, load current is denoted by I0 here, we regard the inductor current to be negative as it is flowing out of the load. On the other hand, when the chopper switch is opened, the load voltage which is the sum of the battery E plus the voltage across the inductor will be more than the source voltage Vs. Because of this, the diode D will be forbassed and begins to conduct. The energy stored in the inductor is released in the form of current. Since the load current is again flowing out of the load, we regard this as negative load current once again. No matter the chopper switch condition, the load current I0 will be flowing out of the load and is therefore treated negative. However, the load voltage is still positive. Since load holds more energy than the supply, the power starts to flow from the load towards the source. Hence, a class B chopper is also regarded as a step up chopper. Also, since the load voltage is positive but the load current is negative, a class B chopper produces the second quadrant operation as shown in figure 1b here. Figure 2 here shows the waveforms for the thyristor gate pulse, load voltage and load current. Please note, we have considered a continuous load current mode of operation for this analysis. Therefore, the chopper switch must be closed once again in the next cycle before the load current becomes zero when the chopper is open. Since the working principle of this chopper is very similar to that of a step up chopper, I'm not going to discuss the mathematical analysis of this chopper. However, I request you to kindly refer to my previous video on step up chopper for detailed mathematical analysis. It should be noted, both class A and class B choppers are single quadrant choppers. A class A chopper is a step down chopper, whereas a class B is a step up chopper. Coming back to the waveforms, we note that when the chopper switch is closed, the inductor is storing energy and therefore the current is actually increasing. But since the current direction is reversed to that of class A chopper, we say it is a negative load current and you can see the negative current is increasing. Since we are talking about a continuous load current mode of operation, at the beginning of the chopper switch being closed, the current across the load is said to be I max. Since the inductor stores energy and the inductor current increases, we see from this waveform that the current is increasing but this is once again in a negative direction. So at the end of the chopper being closed, the current reaches from I max to I minimum. When the chopper is opened, the inductor is releasing its energy and we come to this portion of the waveform. That is, from the initial value of I minimum, the inductor loses its energy and therefore it is actually going towards zero. Since we are talking about continuous load current mode of operation, the chopper switch at the end of the chopper being open should be closed before the load current becomes zero. 
otherwise the operation will then turn to discontinuous load current mode of operation we also note from the waveform whenever the chopper conducts the output voltage is zero and when the chopper is open the output voltage is equal to the battery voltage e plus the voltage across the inductor therefore this value will be greater than that of the supply voltage we have already stated that this is very similar to that of a step up chopper that is why you will also see the output voltage in an average sense is greater than that of the input voltage for a class b chopper we note that the output voltage is always positive whereas the output current is negative this is the reason why we obtain the second quadrant operation in the quadrant diagram we note the y axis is the output voltage and the x axis is the load current that is why we get a second quadrant operation well that is all about the discussion on the class b chopper in my next video i will be discussing on class c chopper I hope you like this video. If you do, kindly press that like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos on power electronics. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.